Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is the 22nd of January 2022. Yeah, Ford is overvalued. Okay, is Ford stock a sell? Uh, we're going to talk about that today on this video because you guys can see a lot of volatility is now entering the stock market and Ford is not the exception. Yeah, welcome to HFN, also known as you This is what I do. I look at the price chart, price chart only. I don't add no technical indicators. I don't talk about no fundamental analysis, nothing of that nature because it is all garbage. The only thing we need to pay attention to is what people are doing with their own cash, with their own money. Yeah, people don't play around with money. So when they actually come in and buy something or when they actually come in and sell something, they already got their conviction and they can't go back and change it. So if you understand how to look at price bars and volume, you pretty much understand what's been going on and you can follow the market. So I'm going to show you all that today in four. Now, if you guys appreciate it, hit the like button, share, and also subscribe here to the channel. And as well, if you want to get the latest price prediction that I have for any particular type of stock, come here to my playlist. Yeah. Always come here to my playlist to get the latest information as to where I'm seeing these prices go for these stocks. Here it is, all of them right here. Every video, every stock that I cover being fully transparent with our subscribers, it is here. Yeah, unlike some other YouTubers who, you know, tell you to buy these stocks and the stocks go down 90%, 100% and you never hear anything else about those stocks. We don't do that here. We are fully transparent. So make sure you join this team because we are definitely growing from all of our subscribers that has been seeing the value that I am attributing to your ability to understand how these markets really work. Now, let's get back to this, right? Yeah, I, I did a video in the market in Ford. Take a look. Yep, it was on the 1st of January. So here we are 22 days into my price prediction, right? And I was telling you all, I was looking for the price to go up. Yeah, take a look at it. Here it is. So. I was still bullish into the market in Ford. Now I wasn't massively bullish. Why? Because when you look here in the background of this of this chart in Ford, you guys can begin to see that we were kind of getting overextended, right? Yeah, we don't have too much history here into the market in Ford, to which price has been trading above twenty five dollars. Look, this is the only amount of information to where this market in Ford has trade, and look at when that occurred. That was back nineteen ninety eight. 1999 this price hasn't been up here in Ford, so i already knew that this market was becoming overly extended so i knew not to be massively bullish in Ford. now take a look at this take this back over to the daily time frame and i pretty much told you where the market was going to flip where it's going to change from looking to go up to looking to go down this is why you have to know when you're going to exit positions you cannot come into a market and you know buy it here without knowing where you're willing to let it go. I told you all back in the beginning of the month, yeah, maybe around $24. And this is precisely where the market flipped. And here we are today down there around $20.65. See, you got to let it go because that's 11.89% right there. Now, let me show you why this market in Ford is now overvalued, is, is overextended. Because when you look at the trend, right look at this Ford has been in a very good bullish run no doubts about it charge doesn't lie look at this we started this back in May of 2020 about two years this is what a bullish market looks like okay a long-term bullish market now some youtubers want you to hold stocks for 5 10 15 years but holding this stock from May 2020 to today you saw some pretty good gains but at what point do you need me to let those gains go and actually lock them up and put them in your account? That's a very good run. Whoever controls the market in four did a fantastic job of moving this market up over the last two years. They did a great job. Now, I want you all to see this, though. If we look at where this trend started, right, if we look at this horizontal line, well, it's not horizontal, this vertical line here in the market in four, you can see how overextended we are. Price needs to come back down and test and come back into relation to this trend. That's about 27.5%. And this breakout massively started back here in September of last year. Yes. So can we see this price in four come all the way back down to this trend and test it? We sure can. We cannot act like that's not a possibility. It is. Especially when we saw our massive run up back here in September of 100%. 
the market needs to come back down. It has to. Nothing goes up into perpetuity. So let's look at this then. OK, you, you guys can see. So now we need to figure out, OK, if we're expecting price and forward to come down, we need to figure out, OK, how low can we see the price go? We need to be prepared to see buyers because buyers will be showing up, especially when they see a price attractive. They're going to show their hand. We don't have to worry about it. They will show up and let us know where they are buying. So all of this high volume down here, right? Seeing how the market is now coming down is indicative of selling. All right, so the sellers in the market in Ford are now controlling the stock's price. Where can we go? You see this? It's a very tight area. That would be our first spot for us to try to see the buyers appear. They need to show up. Twenty nineteen dollars Yeah, I already know that. Now, once I transition over this time frame to a longer time, time frame, let me see what we got. OK, now I want you all to see this. Look at what happened last week, right? Look at what happened last week. Basically, when we look at this spread from last week, do you really think it's probable from a long term perspective that Ford is going to hold nineteen dollars, that it's going to hold twenty dollars? No, it doesn't look feasible considering this very wide spread here in Ford. It doesn't look feasible. So we got to keep it real. Can we actually see the market price in Ford go a lot lower than $19? Yes. Basically what we're seeing on this weekly time frame. This is how you're able to be prepared and see market movement. Now, if we're expecting the price to go below 19, what do you think the next area is going to be? Exactly. 18. The answers are already here on the chart. You just got to figure it out where it is. Let me show it to you. This is a very strong area of restriction into the market in four. So as this price in four comes down, be prepared for it to come to test this trend. And it's going to bring us towards this bullseye right here to where the market support of $18 and the, uh, the trend of this ascending line is going to come back and meet. This is where the decision will be made as to whether or not price is going to continue to go up or price in four is going to continue to go down. Yeah, just got to see these answers. The market is already speaking to us. So that is on a weekly time frame. Let me show you the three weeks. OK, look at this on the three weeks. Yeah, we have this weakness price bar right here. And then we have this volume bar right here. All of this is indicative of massive weakness. So if, if I'm not here to convince you. I'm not. I'm simply showing you the news basically on what everyone else is trying to do. So over the last three weeks, yeah, there was a whole lot of selling in the market and forward. So we got to be prepared for these things. Now, I'm looking for the price to go down. And forward. look at this on the two weeks. If we look the same way in the next six days and three hours, yeah, we're going to go a lot lower. So let me plot it on the chart. And you guys can see that my first area is going to be around 19. That's going to be my first price target for me to expect to see the buyers appear. If they really wanted to see this price go up and forward, they'll show up first here. Right. So we need to be on the lookout to see the buyers coming to the market right there around $19. Now, from a long term perspective, we definitely need to see the buyers approach 18, no lower than 18. OK, that's how low I'm looking for the market in four to try to come initially. And if we break 18 on weakness, let's not be scared to see it come down and test this trend. That's the ultimate deciding factor into the market as to whether or not four is going to continue to go up is this trend. OK, so I got three price targets, $19 first. Like I said, that gives us about what? Another 8% movement to the downside. $18 a second. That gives us what? 13 and a quarter. All the way back down here to test this trend. Like around 1650, something around right there. Okay. So now this is my price prediction. Simple, easy, I'm looking at the price chart. Okay. So you guys can follow it. 
bring it in a little bit closer and continue to see how low this market is going to go because if we see buyers come in around 19 we already know we need to cut the prediction and run and take that eight percent but if we continue to see weakness around 19 then we already know we're still sitting pretty we're still sitting good and we know the price is going to continue to fall this is how you able to be confident this is how you able to be level-headed in these stock markets while everyone else is running scared running around trying to figure out what's going on to the market you have someone a reliable source that you can actually expect some price movement so now it's your turn it, give it a try you know just look at the price bars and the volume and see what it is saying to you you got to trust your instincts because the market is not lying you just, need to, you just simply need to see it and follow what it is saying so now put it out in open yeah, put it out in the public and tell everyone what your price target is in the market and forward as we go into the month of March, as we go into the month of March and April. All right, I'm done. Now it's your turn. Hit me up. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.